Hi, I'm Coach Mike. Welcome to Change Your Body Boot Camps Foam Rolling. So this is the foam rolling routine we do before every workout. I'm gonna have a timer set. It's gonna, we're gonna roll for 10 seconds, then you get five seconds to switch. During orientation, we're gonna do the same routine, but we'll take more time to make sure that you understand it fully. But this is if you wanna practice it on your own or you wanna just get a refresher of what rolling looks like. The reason we roll is it's a great proprioceptive warm-up, at least what we're going to do here. We're going to roll continuously on different body parts, different limbs, and different tissues, and that's great for proprioception, uh, proprioceptive warm-up. It switches on your sensory neurons. So it's like if I tap your skin, you feel that, your brain sends a signal saying, hey, someone touched my skin, and then it sends a signal back saying whether it's ouch or cold or hot or it's light. So when we roll your whole body, we switch on your sensory neurons, okay? Now there's another type of rolling called trigger point release or myofascial release. Now we don't necessarily do that, uh, the trigger point release part in our program in the actual class because it's more time intensive. If you ever have a muscle spasm, a knot, um, a charley horse, you'd want to rest on or near that spot for 30 seconds to two minutes practicing breathing naturally until that muscle releases, until that spasm releases, and then move on to a, a more tender area or to something else. But in class, there's not enough time for everybody to work on their individual knots. So we do the proprioceptive warm-up. So without further ado, let's start. Helen's gonna walk around and get different angles if need be, and I'm just gonna go through our routine and try to talk to you as we go. So we start with the upper back. Put the roller in your mid-back. Hug yourself, love yourself, and you roll from your lower back to your upper back. Now, you might get some snapping, some cracking, some popping. That's okay. Just go with it. Okay. Now you sit on the ground, put the roller on your mid-back, butt down, curling down. Hands on your head, elbows tight. Now you're working on thoracic extension. Okay, hips up. Right arm in line with your ear, turn slightly to the right, and you're going to roll your lats, armpit to your low back. Now you see how I move myself off the mat? It's normal. It's okay. Switch. Now if the lat is really uncomfortable for you, turn less. If you can handle more, turn more. But you're going armpit to low back. Okay. Sitting on the roller. This is your piriformis. If you sit on your left butt, put your left heel on top of your right knee. Switch. Sit on your right cheek. Your piriformis muscle lies on top of your sciatic nerve. If you feel numbness, burning, tingling, or cold sensations running down your leg, it's either a sciatic injury, a low back injury, or it's your butt muscle, your piriformis, compressing your sciatic nerve. So now we're doing hamstrings, we're doing a limb. When you do limbs, you have to manipulate your body to find the tender spots. Turn your leg in, turn your leg out, try to find the tender spots. It could be different on any given day. Sometimes you have to manipulate your body completely to get the right angle. Now, when you do small muscles like the calves versus big muscles like the hamstring, a lacrosse ball or a baseball would work even better, or a tennis ball. Smaller muscles use smaller implements. Now we're going to do the chest. Turn over. Open your arm to the side. You're going front of the shoulder, armpit, part of the chest. This is your axillary fold area. Adductor. When you do the adductor, sometimes you want to have your knee bent and you'll feel it in the middle of the thigh. And sometimes you want to have your leg straight and you'll feel it closer to the knee. Try both. Right side.
Now, if you have rounded posture, this will probably be tender. If you did a lot of push-ups or pressing motions, this will probably be tender. If you've been sitting a long time, this will probably be tender. If you did a lot of squats or deadlifts or lateral lunges, this will probably be tender. Okay, spin the roller, put it under your hip, under one hip, and you're gonna go a few rolls at the hip flexor, and then all the way up to the knee. See how I go from my forearms to my hands? Turn your leg in, turn your leg out, bend your knee. Okay, the TFL. The TFL is your pocket muscle. Wherever the pocket on your pants would be, underneath it is a thick band of tissue. Roll that area. Now the IT band. You're on the side of your leg, rolling from your knee to your hip bone. This is really uncomfortable. So you're going knee to hip, or it may be really uncomfortable. Switch legs. Right hip to knee. Few rolls at the hip, and then all the way to the knee. Oh, this is tender. Turn your leg in, not so much there. Turn your leg out, not so much there, but right here. Okay, the TFL. Roll in your pocket muscle. Now down to the IT band. The TFL stands for tensor fascia lacta. The IT band is iliotibial band. If you have weak glute medius, weak lateral stabilizers, the TFL and the IT band become overactive and you get lateral knee pain, knee pain on the outside of the knee. But if you have a strong butt and strong lateral stabilizers, you're less likely for the TFL or the IT band to be hyperactive and you're less likely to have tenderness in those two spots. This is the foam rolling video. Uh, if you like it, like it. Uh, good luck. Thanks.